What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zer returns to Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 1st of December. Of course, Zer's first visit right here inside of Season of the Wish, and he's here on Nessus in Watcher's Grave, up in the tree, in his normal spot, pretty easy to find, and of course, the new dungeon is going live right about now also, so have fun with that if you are jumping in. But for Zer, we've got the Prometheus Lens here for the exotic weapon this week, a fun one if you've never used it, and then the Worm Husk Crown right here for the Hunters, total stat roll of 70, about as good as Zer will ever have right there overall, but of course that's leaning towards mobility and intellect fairly heavily, uh, heavily very high mobility uh, right there. And then we've got the Aeon Safe right here for Titans, total of 66, leaning towards resilience, recovery and discipline. And then we've got the Crown of Tempests, which has a total stat roll of 68, mainly with recovery and strength right there. So give us your thoughts on the exotic stuff. But then we've got the Death Adder right here with Hipfire Grip and Dragonfly. Also the Blood Feud SMG, which has got dynamic sway reduction and elemental capacitor. And then the Ikelos hand cannon here has well-rounded and frenzy. There's also Truth Teller, uh, which has got autoloading holster and multi-kill clip with disorienting grenades. And then we've got the Path of Least Resistance here with subsistence and focused fury as well as the 7th Seraph Saw machine gun, which has got Zen Moment, Elemental Capacitor, and finally, the Blast Batu uh, with Threat Detector, Autoloading Holster. And then in terms of the armor, uh, we've got some of the Seraph stuff from back in the day, so of course, we can't obtain this uh, gear from any other place other than Zer, so potentially something that newer players or returning players don't have and maybe want to add to collections, and then of course, you can see stat rolls on your various characters. But then Hawkmoon right here has moving target. So that does it for Zer inside of Destiny 2. I don't know how uh, excited he's feeling this week, uh, wishing for good loot from the new season, but uh, in D1, if you are collecting, he's got Bad Juju as well as Frosties, a Legacy Gauntlet Engram, and then the Skull of Dire Ahamkara and the Glass House. So if you're still collecting, you can always hunt him down. But otherwise, guys, there we go. That does it for the Zer inventory. As always, I hope the video has been useful. If it has, a rating below really does help us out on the channel. Also, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you up to date with more Destiny content. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day.